So, and then we looked at, um, when you look at a lot of uh, learning management systems, they're, they're relatively complex and it takes a lot of skills and, and knowledge, uh, you know, to make learning path. What did, and why did the coach in you tell you to make a platform like Qqualio? We really want to know about the journey. Because that was what I needed while I was working. And it wasn't there. And uh, when I, I uh, well, it, w one of the things that you do sometimes when you work with other people and in other people's companies, then, you know, you see things that are missing. And we discovered that, that um, I did internal communication for IBM. And on Fridays, every two weeks, uh, management sent out a, an email to everybody telling what was happening. And it was during the merger of IBM uh, after they bought PwC Consulting. And what happened was that we sent out uh, emails from internal communications. And we never, ever, never knew if people actually saw the video Oh, sorry, saw the email and understood the content. Uh, and as everybody was consultants, you know, they sometimes, yeah, the, the worst part was actually one day when we were moving offices and the email communication went out explaining that we were now moving and that everybody had to move their things into boxes because, you know, Tuesday, the whatever day, they would come and get the boxes and move them to another office. And uh, it turned out that quite a few wasn't reading their emails from management with the result that there was quite a few boxes that had to be you know the tables weren't cleaned so you, the movers couldn't move the boxes um imagine if we had a system where this communication was actually sent out on email but with a video where the ceo or the management explained what it was that you needed to do after they'd sent it out they would actually know whether people saw the video, even opened the invitation, saw the video, and whether they understood, okay, Monday morning at two o'clock, and they've even confirmed it on writing, that they actually know that they were moving. Mm -hmm. That would have been brilliant. So mm -hmm. uh, we could have used it in IBM when I was there. Then I worked for Novo Nordisk, and, uh, and I was the executive assistant of uh, the vice presidents running the pharmaceutical uh, production. And um, we also had a lot of communication going out on uh, strategies, on uh, balance scorecard, on quarter uh, things. And we never knew whether people actually participated or didn't participate, whether they understood that they were they had to do things differently. Uh, part of you know being in management is is a is a change management task of you know moving people from one section to another, and and not knowing if people ever saw and understood what you were saying actually gave us quite a lot of problems so i could really have used these a platform like what we do now it, i could have used that in my work uh, our, my partner is is a um, he's worked in software and he could have used the platform too he working with software what often happens is that when you onboard software developers it's the available person that onboards the next one but very often the one that has the most time is not necessarily the best one and mm -hmm. so very often what happens is that you start out with having a person that actually knows exactly what they're doing and then they teach somebody. Then this person teach somebody else what to do uh, and then they teach somebody else what to do. Uh, yes. And <laughs> if they had recorded the first person that actually really knew what they were doing, they would make sure that what the next ones were doing was exactly the right thing instead of it being what the next one remembered. So and then we looked at... Um, when you look at a lot of uh, learning management systems, they're they're relatively complex, and it takes a lot of skills and, and knowledge, uh, you know, to make learning paths and I don't know whatever it's called. And we said, but listen, when you train people, it is super important that is actually the person that knows what to do that is training. And uh, since this person is very often busy, why not just record it? Making e-learning doesn't have to be complicated because, uh, you know, in, in uh, in, you, you normally say that a picture says more than a thousand words, but honestly, a video, because a one minute video consists of so many pictures, it actually says more than three million words. So instead of trying to write down what people are supposed to do, why don't you show them? And nowadays with the, you know, the smartphone phones we have, making a recording is super, super easy. Uh, whether it's you and me sitting here talking uh, on each side of the world or whether it's, you know, with a handheld phone that you record. 
So we kind of thought, why not make a, a, an e-learning light on our platform? Everything you can do is base a course on a video. You have to have a video to make a course. You can add supplementary uh, extra you know, fact sheets or uh, manuals or whatever, but it's, it's the video that guides what the content is about. And that means that you can actually make content about anything. So we have customers using the platform for uh, teaching retail assistants what their product does and how it works. We've got people using it for support, uh, you know, uh, how do you disassemble things. Uh, we've got other people using it for uh, sales partner training, uh, onboarding of new employees, uh, all kinds of things, because it's literally the video that decides the content. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we've added a quiz layer uh, to the video. And the reason for the quiz is, first of all, because people actually like testing the new gain knowledge. And secondly, the more times you repeat the knowledge that you got, the better people remember it. And one of the things that you have to do when you, you make trainings is that you have to beat the forgetting curve. Ebbinghaus wrote about it. And, and the thing is that if, you, if a, no, a new knowledge is not repeated again and again, mm -hmm. then you forget. So therefore, yes. seeing the video first, answering questions about it, make sure that the new gain knowledge is actually you know, transferred down the brain into your hands in order mm -hmm. for you to remember. And then at the end, after having seen all the videos, then you, you get a final test and that uh, test gives you a badge and that badge can be shared on social media or it can be used to document to authorities. We've got people using it for compliance, uh, GDPR courses and uh, airport safety. Um, that 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 all the employees have been trained. So, so as I said, it's very much the content of the video. And since more or less nowadays anything can be put on video, it's super super easy to train people. And to be honest, we have a second thing that that is really important, and that is one of the things I've learned in my life working is that um, happiness spreads. So if I can make a platform that enable people to do a good job, then they go home smiling. If they go mm -hmm. home smiling, they'll smile to their wife and their kids. And chances <laughs> are they will smile back to their friends. They will even smile to the dog or the cat. And, and, and that will be happy as well. So, so this thing of making sure that people actually know, you know, that it, it is an easy way to make people happy and content.